Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to look at how to find the cube roots of a complex number. So to do this, we're going to be using a specialized formula and we're going to be getting s several answers based on the root that we're taking. So in this case, if we're talking about cube roots, we're going to have three individual answers. We're going to use our formula for the, to find the nth root of a complex number, referring to w. So a complex number w is such that w to the nth power equals z, where z is defined as the polar fo form of a complex number. So each individual root, w sub k, is equal to 1, or excuse me, r to the 1 over n power, times the quantity cosine of theta plus 2 pi k, over n plus i sine of theta plus 2 pi k over n for k is equal to 0, 1, 2 to the n minus 1 power or to the n minus 1. Now what that means n minus 1 is since in this case I have three roots n becomes 3 which means I'll use 0, 1, and 2 for values of k. If I was asked for the fourth root we would use 0, 1, 2, and 3 if I was asking for the fifth root, we'd use 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Five, the the uh, fifth root, 0, 1, 2, 3, or excuse me, the sixth root, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and so on. So we need to identify what is our r. r is our modulus. What n is, which is 3 in this case, and we need to figure out r theta. So looking at our complex number, we have our a and b. A is 1, and B is 1, both positive. And once we have that, we also want to consider, I right, to say these are three other things to remember. The modulus of each root, as it says, R to the 1 over N. Argument of the first root is pi, or excuse me, theta over N, and add 2 pi over N to get the successive argument. And that describes this equation right here. Just another alternate way of looking at it. So, I know n is 3, tangent of theta is b over a, which is 1 over 1. We can deduce that since tangent is 1, this refers to our 45-45 right triangle, which is 45 degrees. So we're using pi over 4. Now since tangent is positive, since both my a and b were positive, That means I'm in quadrants 1 and 3. Now I need to narrow it down. So if I look at inverse tangent, which is what I would have to do, or an alternate way of figuring out this angle, inverse tangent is defined on negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, which means I'm now in quadrants 1 and 4. Or I'm also considering quadrants 1 and 4, so the overlap is in quadrant 1. So in quadrant 1, that's, that's simple enough, pi over 4 stays pi over 4. So now I have theta. Define my r. a is 1, b is 1, so square root of 2 is square root of 2. Now I have all the components that I need. I have r, theta, and n. So now I need to put it into this form choosing a value for k each time. So when k equals 0, what I have is square root of 2 to the 1 third cosine of theta, which is pi over 4. Now, since k is 0, 2 pi k is just 0, so it's theta plus 0. So I can just leave it as that over n, which is 3, plus i sine pi over 4. Again, plus 2 pi k, since k is 0, it's just going to be pi over 4 over 3, or n. Which I can simplify to, say, square root of 2 to the 1 third, 
cosine of 5 over 12 plus i sine of 5 over 12. <clears throat> there is my first root. Next, I'll choose when k is 1. So I still have the square root of 2 to the 1 3rd, cosine of pi over 4. Now, since k is 1, 2 pi times 1 is 2 pi, so I'm adding 2 pi over 3 plus i sine of the same, pi over 4, plus 2 pi over 3. Now I need to simplify. So I'm adding pi over 4 plus 2 pi. And if I think of it as pi over, or 2 pi over 1, get a common denominator, I'll have pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4. <clears throat> so now I have 9 pi over 4. So my second root, or I should say, <clears throat> I have 9 pi over 4 still divided by 3. So that becomes 9 pi over 4 times 1 third, which I can reduce my 3 and 9 to make it 3 pi over so my second root, and as you can see, these tend to be long. When, again, when k equals 1 is square root of 2 to the 1 third, cosine of 3 pi over 4, plus i sine of 3 pi over 4 again stemming from this work. One more root to go, k equals 2. Start off the same, square root of 2 to the 1 third, cosine of pi over 4. Now, 2 pi k, when k is 2, gives me 4 pi over 3, plus i sine of pi over 4, the same, plus 4 pi over 3. So I need to simplify my angles, or my radians, excuse me, pi over 4 plus 4 pi, which I think is over 1, to get a common denominator, makes this pi over 4 plus 16 pi over 4, 17 pi over 4, that takes care of this part up here. Now I still have over 3, so 17 pi over 4 times 1 third gives me 17 pi over 12. So my final root is the square root of 2 to the 1 third cosine of 17 pi over 12 plus i sine of 17 pi over 12. <clears throat> so, with this kind of problem, they are long. Cube root implies I have an n of 3. I need to determine what that n is. I need to determine my a and b based off my complex number. This is the formula that we use, and when we say k can vary from 0, 1, 2, and so on to the n minus 1. That affects us means we have different arguments for each root, and we'll have, in this case, three roots. So we need to determine n, r, <clears throat> and r theta. And then it's a matter of putting them all into the formula, using k to simplify. So in this case, we have our three roots here, here, and 